FIFA 23 is finally out guys and I'm pretty sure that you wanna take more ways. You want to improve your reaction time. So you have to apply the best possible controller settings. Let me show you. For cheap, safe and reliable FIFA 23 coins, make sure to check out the best place on the market, u7buy.com to get your coins within 10 minutes and don't forget to use my discount code CROSSY. It's been one of the most requested tutorial on my channel, CROSSY, please share with me the best possible camera and controller settings. So let's get started. And by the way, this is the first thing that you have to do when you guys install FIFA 23. Don't join Ultimate Team. No, 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 no. Don't play any games. Don't play for champions. Don't play rivals. Go and apply the best possible controls so you can take more wins. Let's get started. Go to Customize, then go to Settings, Customize Controls, and let's get started. Competitive master switch so you've got on and off and guys i don't want to waste your time when you play ultimate team for champions division rivals drafts friendly squad battles doesn't matter you are going to use competitive master switch on by default you can't touch that option the only way for you to play off is if you play in single game mode if you play career mode so i don't advise you to touch it okay leave it on adapt to the default settings and don't touch anything. Moving on to through pass assistance. Basically, you've got semi and manual. If you guys apply manual, it is going to be more difficult for you to provide through passes. So I strongly advise you to use semi. It is going to be much more easier to deliver perfect through balls to your strikers. Don't forget that your opponents, if a champions, are going to use semi. So why do you want to make your life harder by using manual? No, 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 no. Use Sammy and move on to the FIFA Trainer option. Regarding this one, only if you guys are newcomers to FIFA 23 and you've never played FIFA before, use the trainer for 2-3 weeks to get used to the FIFA 23 controls and afterwards get rid of the FIFA Trainer. Time finishing, on and off. So when you guys use on, when you load the shot power to take a finesse shot, power shot, and so on. Before the player takes the shot, guys, before he kicks the ball, you have to press circle. Yes, circle, guys, one more time to activate the time finishing. And if you successfully activate the time finishing, because in some certain cases, you may press the button too early or too late and it will ruin your finishing. But let's accept that you press the shoot button in the perfect moment and then you are going to green your finish which means that you are going to add more accuracy more power to the shot and it will eventually increase the efficiency of your shot so i only advise you to leave that option at on if you want to compete in pro events so feel free to turn it off now next player switch indicator the next player switch indicator shows to which player you will switch to when pressing L1 while defending. That's a very important option. Please don't deactivate that option. It's really crucial to see the exact player that you are going to select when you guys press the L1 button on your PlayStation or LB on your Xbox controllers. Next one, pass block assistance. Guys, the biggest problem we experience in FIFA is AI blocks you are going to deactivate the AI blocks if you use off. But guess what? Your opponents are going to use on. It doesn't make sense to deactivate that option. I don't like it, but you have to use it on if you want to take more wins. Next one, auto switching guys, on air balls and loose balls. I just wanna mention that there is one more option, automatic, but keep in mind that the game is going to select to a different player by self all the time while playing it is going to be a mess for you trust me guys skip it leave it at air bows and loose bows and forget about that option auto switching move assistance auto switching move assistance will keep the player you auto switch to moving in their current direction for a period of time leave it at high don't change it guys clearance assistance 
I'm gonna use Classic. Because the direction and the power are fully assisted in FIFA 23. It means that if you find yourself in a difficult situation, in your own penalty box, and you want to clear the ball ASAP, all you need to do is spam the circle button, guys. You don't need to load power. Just spam the circle button on PlayStation controllers and B on Xbox controllers and your defender will clear the ball full power in a random direction, doesn't matter, but the most important thing is that you won't concede goals. Now, let's talk about player lock, guys, and you've got two options, on and off. The situation with player lock is similar to the time finishing. If you guys want to become the best player in the world, top 10, top 5, if you want to qualify for the FIFA Interactive World Cup Grand Finals, if you guys aim for 20 wins out of 20 games in FIFA Champions every single weekend, then you have to learn player lock on. But guys, you can still become an elite player, you can still win 19 or 20 out of 20 games in FIFA Champions, win the best possible rewards if you guys use player lock off. So my advice is use off. I can switch in guys on and off. Please do not use on. If you guys use on, there is a special arrow that is going to pop up on your screen while trying to move your right stick. It is really confusing. Also, it adds additional luck on the screen. And this is completely useless option. I strongly advise you to use off the best possible option you can go with. Right stick switching, guys. Classic. It's not even a question. It's always been classic and it will always be classic. Don't touch it. And guys, the problem with the other option is simple. When you press right stick, you won't select the player. Afterwards, you need to press L1. So you are going to lose extra 3 seconds before you select that player. And 3 seconds, guys, are crucial in FUT Champion. So this is the most useless option ever. Make sure to use Classic. Next one, right stick switching, guys. Player or ball? Player. Don't touch it, guys. It's always been player and it will always be player. Ground passes. Assisted, 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 assisted. Low passes, manual and samey, guys. We talked about throw balls like five minutes ago. Assisted is the way to go because maybe some of you want to use manual, but when you play online, your opponent won't use manual, guys. He is going to use assisted. So the chance he beats you guys is 10 times higher if you select manual. So if you want to improve your wins in for champions, rivals, squad battles, drafts and so on, just leave it at assisted and semi. Also save assistance, assisted, analog sprint, off or on, don't use on. If you use off, it doesn't matter how hard you press the right bumper on your controller, the player on the ball will start sprinting with his maximum acceleration without wasting any time. So off, 100% off, it's not even a question and pass receiver lock, power up is the best possible option you guys can use. This is the earliest possible receiver lock. And last but not least, user vibration feedback off, forget about it, trigger effect off. Guys, don't make a mistake to use on. If you guys make a mistake to use on, when your players get tired, you will experience difficulties in pressing the left and the right bumpers of your controller. And trust me, you are going to lose your matches. So, off. 100% off. Regarding the attack and defense options, leave it at classes or use custom controls. It doesn't matter. For example, guys, I don't use classic, I use custom controls. I've been using custom controls for 10 years, maybe 15 years. Just make sure to not use, yes, let me repeat it, not use one button, two buttons, or this one. It's either classic or custom controls. Well, congratulations, we are done with the controller settings, the best possible controller settings you guys can apply and get better at FIFA 23. Now, 
moving on to the game settings options. And guys, to get a better understanding on how it works with the camera, I'm going to change it through a single player mode. So this is the default camera angles. You are going to get the moment you install FIFA 23. Now, let's go to the settings, game settings, camera again. I'm going to use Coop. In my opinion, Coop is the best possible camera that you guys can use, but I'm not finished yet, okay? I'm going to use custom camera settings, 18 and four. In my opinion, those are the best values. You can use, let's say 17 and three, five and nine, 19, 20 and two, something like that. But I'm currently using 18 and four, the best possible values you can apply to your camera. So let me guys show you the difference. Let me guys show you the difference now. Bank, told you, told you it's much easier for you to create goal scoring chances, to pass the ball, to deliver crosses through balls, lap passes, to defend properly by using Coop camera with custom settings, just like me. And guys, besides the camera settings, visual, I just want to talk about one more option. I love using option number one, player name and indicator, and player indicator, player name. So I love using the name of the player on the ball over the head of the player, guys. Otherwise, you are going to see your username. I hate it. Regarding the remaining options, guys, don't change anything. No, 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 no. Regarding the radar, it's all up to you if you guys want to use 2D or 3D option, but don't turn it off. The radar is one of the most important tools to use during your matches, because in some certain cases, you won't be able to see, let's say, your defender, your last defender or your striker in front positions on your screen. So you have to look at the Raider to check their position. You can also change the Raider colors, but sometimes, for example, guys, if you make it blue, if you make it blue and the opponent red, and if you guys use a red kit after minute one in ultimate team and your opponent plays with the blue one, it is going to be so confusing for you. So in case you use blue and you make it red for your opponent, make sure to use a blue kit as your starting 11 kit, guys. Home kit has to be a blue one. Also, the away kit has to be a blue one. Anyways, I'm going to leave it at default. I've never changed those options before and never had problems with the Raider. Regarding the remaining options, don't touch it. Leave it like that. Maybe regarding connection, maybe you can use off or maybe on ping only. If you guys want to see your ping towards the dedicated servers of eSports displayed on the screen all the time when you guys play online. And also, you can leave that option at connection indicators only or ping and connection indicators. Actually, this is the best option in case you've got problems with your internet connection the problems will be displayed on the screen while playing so you are gonna notice it and guys let's finish it with input overlay off or input only or local input and online responsiveness so if you guys go with that option while playing online you are gonna see two controllers in the top right corner the first one is your own controller that you press and the second one is the online controller in how much time the game, the servers actually, perform your commands. In my opinion, guys, these options are great for content creators, YouTubers, streamers. So while people watch them, they can see their live controllers in the top right corner. But guys, if you don't stream, if you don't upload videos on YouTube like me, turn it off. Honestly, I don't think that you need it. So this is gonna be the end of the day's controller settings and camera settings tutorial. Make sure to drop a like if you enjoyed the video or I'm gonna break my monitor, I swear guys. If we don't hit over 700 likes at that video, I'm gonna break it, okay? If you've got any questions, joking aside, leave a comment below. 
let me know and your boy Crossy will catch you later. Bye bye.